Hi everyone, James Mansley bringing you yet another video. Now, if you're wondering why my voice sounds like this, I'm actually getting over being sick. So I'm gonna sound like Jennifer Tilly for a little bit. So just get into it, okay? Jennifer Tilly, you sound like Telly Savalas. All right, so it is the holiday season. <laughs> oh God. And it's time to do another wig from Spirit Halloween. Yes, we are doing Spirit Halloween wigs today. So I went to Spirit Halloween quite a few days ago. This was supposed to happen a lot earlier than it did today. So here we go. I got two wigs. I found first this one, the Fashion Bob, and this one, the Hollywood Glam. So we're going to combine these two together to create a fabulous drag queen wig that you can do from Spirit Halloween wigs because, well, it's been a while since I've done this and I want to see if I could still do it. So yeah, I'm going to try these wigs on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Ooh, welcome <gasps> back. This is the wig out of the bag, and oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not even quite a Drew Barrymore. I don't know what you would call this, but it's like... Buffer-ass Michelle Pfeiffer. A really, really, really cropped-in bob. Oh my gosh. Oh god. And we also have here the other Spirit Halloween wig. It's the longer wig. I'm just going to hold it up to my head. All right, here we go. What's it going to look like if I combine it without teasing? Here we go. Oh, she's actually kind of nice. Like, I have to say, like, the hair quality is not bad. Oh, I dream of Jeannie. Yes. <laughs> Y'all can't take her. Yes. It's like a very novice lady bunny. Oh, my goodness. This is how she looks. Let me post my little screen grab first. Okay, yeah, this is how she looks out of the bag. And there's her off. <laughs> That's going to be fun to put in together later. But, uh, like, the hair quality is not bad. Like, it's actually pretty good hair. As far as, like, costume wigs go, it's got a pretty decent fiber. So I'm excited to, like, actually work with it. That's one thing I've noticed about Party City and, like, Spirit Halloween. Some of their wigs, they've really been upping the quality and the fiber. I think it's a lot to do with the fact that, well, I've talked a lot about it in the past couple of years. So they're trying to, like, put me, they're trying to shut me up. And you know what? I'm I'm happy to be silenced. Gag me, sweetie. Gag me. All righty. Now I'm going to take this off and I'll be right back and we'll start styling it. Okay. Oh, the voice is starting to come back a little bit. You hear that? Ooh, you're not ready. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let's, let's reframe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are back. Okay. The voice is starting to come back a little bit. Oh my God. It's like happening in real time. My voice is coming back. Okay. So I have the hair all pinned to the head like that. So what we are going to do is I'm going to pull hair from the top of the crown here and just pull it forward so that we have hair to blend in together. Because I decided we're going to go like an I Dream of Genie direction. That is what's happening today. And as I was going through the wig, I couldn't help but notice that like the hair quality is really nice. Like party, like Spirit Halloween, y'all are really stepping it up. Like, they really said, oh, okay, do you want to talk all that? We're going to show you. We're, we're Spirit Halloween, okay? We'll open a store up in your living room when you least expect it, okay? You'll turn around in your bathroom and there'll be a Spirit Halloween opened up in there, okay? Don't try us, ugly They really said, like, what's your ugly ass say? We'll show you. We have the power. Okay, so I'm putting it like that. There's a skin top in this, which I'm not a fan of. Y'all already know that. Like, I don't understand skin tops. <laughs> But that's her. So I actually took the stuffers from the inside of the wigs and I put them inside of a hairnet so I could create like a stuffer to put underneath. And that's going to be our base for volume. Because we're going like a lady bunny, I dream, dreamy kind of direction with this. Just stuff that in there. And already she is elevated. That. We got all that back, all that hair from the crown is pulled for. We're going to use that to combine later. But let's start with zip tying this a little bit. Okay, the voice is starting to go again. And there I go, sounding like Jennifer Tilly. Oh my God, oh Chucky. <laughs> the one upside of being sick like this, my Jennifer Tilly impersonation has never been more spot on. All right, it's never been better. What you guys don't understand is I was actually a really accomplished actress before I was in Bride of Chucky. I was in a movie called Bound with Gina Gershon. We were lesbians. And, um... I feel like she was in other stuff, too. Wasn't she nominated for an Oscar at one point? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. Oscar buffs, let me know if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I am. Anyways. 
All right. Yeah. And we're just getting this all pinned on or not pinned on, zip tied on. So separate this hair in the back. Just throw it forward. Honestly, it's a whole wig. It's a whole ass wig. Okay. Do that. We're going to try and do it so it's more to the base of the head just so we have more volume and more of it stick it up but no jennifer tilly god gotta love her she really said i'm gonna take these chucky movies and just make a career out of it <laughs> okay pull that out now for those of you who don't know this i have actually become a little bit obsessed with that real housewife show <laughs> particularly the beverly hills one i think it's because my friend teddy bear is just insistent that i watch it so he keeps sending me clips and like I've learned that I love Lisa Renna <laughs> and like the chaotic energy that she has. I love her. <laughs> I love anyone that will just ruin a dinner because they feel like it. Oh shoot. Okay. This is not going to work. Let's just clip that one quick. All right. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zip tie this and I'll come right back and we'll start doing the styling. All right. And if you're wondering how I zip tie wigs, well, you're in luck. I actually have a wonderfully informative video right here. Yes. I have a zip tying video for wigs on how you can connect wigs with zip ties, all right? So be sure and check that out. And since I'm already plugging stuff, I actually also have a brand new James Mansfield Shorts channel, which I'll be linking down below. Bite sized James Mansfield videos just for you. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, welcome back. I have a cough drop in my mouth and you're hearing me sloshing a little bit, that's why. Because I've been coughing like a mad person the whole time during the break, so. We're trying to work through the sickness because I have to work and we also have to make content. So we are getting through this together, okay? So first things first, I have everything all connected here. I'm gonna start by doing some back combing so I can tease away this ugly part that's here. And I have to say, looking at it, the hair quality is not bad. Come on now, okay. I'm liking this hair quality. Like they have really stepped it up since a few years ago when I tried this before. Like remember when we tried Spirit Halloween wigs out and they're just like the bane of my existence and the hair quality was awful. And you're just like, who would buy this? But now like for the price point that you're getting, it's actually not bad. Like of course you're gonna have to do some kind of maintenance to it. Like no wigs gonna be perfect when you get out the bag. But this is actually really nice. It's giving me very much like 1960s wigs and the way they're made too, because it has like this netted cap and everything. That was very, very big in the 60s. Wigs are made like that. Now, the amount of hair you get in them can be debatable. For the most part with these costume wigs, I feel like all the hair is up top and they kind of like start to lose a bit of interest in their own design when it comes to the back. Like the back tracks are usually really, really fair. That is no exception with this wig. <laughs> They said, girl, it's for Halloween. You're lucky we gave you all this. Yeah, she's fluffy and pretty, and so far she's looking really cute. It's that nice champagne-y platinum blonde. I live. Okay, let's do a little more. It's very much like that blonde color. If you look at like vintage wigs from like the 60s and 70s, their blonde color was usually like this. Like really champagne-y. Like almost like a grayish hue to it. Now, this vision that I have is like a Barbara Eden-inspired idea. We're gonna see if we can accomplish it because you do require like usually a bit more hair and this is a bit lacking in hair in some places, especially in the back. Most of the fun is happening up top and especially this bob wig, like there was no going back from that. Like it's just gonna be a bob. We're just gonna use it to shape whatever we can and be the front part so we don't have to do a rooted hairline. Yeah, what I noticed about being sick is that I hate it and it's awful and I hate not being able to like do stuff I wanna do. Like I had to cancel the pride float today I couldn't do it and it was devastating because <laughs> like I wanted to be well enough to do my bookings on the weekend. So it's just like, ugh, this is awful. And I don't know how it happened. I mean, I tried doing like the detective work in my mind and all I can fathom is that I had gone to the strip and I had dinner on the strip and I ate at Gordon Ramsay burger. And then I came home and suddenly I had a cold. So I'm not saying the two are connected, but you know, I'm not ruling anything out either. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, oh my God. <laughs> Could you imagine the headlines? Woman gets summer cold from Gordon Ramsay Burger. Allegedly. <laughs> my drama channel has to come out. Allegedly. No, I'm pretty sure I got it because I was walking around the strip inside of those casinos and honey, that smoke just gets to me. Like I can't be in them for too long around the cigarette smoke. It's like one of the few places in the world you're still allowed to smoke. 
So like just sitting in there and just breathing it all in and just like, oh, I felt like garbage by the time I got home. Ugh, but this hair is teasing out lovely. Now the wig itself reminds me a lot of um, the licensed Hocus Pocus wigs they had a few years back. Like I think this one reminds me the most of like the Sarah wig. It's very much the same kind of style, only a little bit shorter. All right, well, this is quite a bit of hair to tease out. So I'm going to tease out the rest of her and I'll be right back with, you know, the teased out result and we'll start styling it. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. The hair is all teased out. Now it's time to start styling it. It is already looking very Lady Bunny as I look at it right now, like a very mangled Lady Bunny. I had to really do double duty on the teasing here in the front just to make sure it like blended down. So there's like a nice little cloud and nest of like teasing right here at the base because just I wanted to make sure none of those tracks peek through. But for the most part, like it's a really good couple of wigs. Like I've seen some junky party store hair, but like the hair quality is actually really, really good on them. And like even the cut bang on it is actually really good. Like the readily cut bang, like it's really ready to go <laughs> like at a decent length. Usually they're like way too small or way too long or they have like a weird indent in them. Like as far as this hair goes, like there's not really a whole lot of defects in them that party store wigs usually have. Like as far as it goes, like I didn't see any creases in the hair from packaging or anything like that. So it's pretty good. So y'all been asking for a lady bunny wig. Well, you're getting it now. <laughs> Her hair is actually really, really simple. Cause like I just did a lot, a lot of base teasing right here because it needed it a whole lot. It needed a lot more than I thought it did because the join was really, really hard to disguise. So I had to tease it down a whole lot right here. Doing our bottom right now. Oh, it spoke too soon. There's a couple of creases in the hair. <laughs> well, we're gonna try our best to work around that. Nobody's perfect. But as far as it goes, like for a party store wig, it ain't bad, and especially for Halloween time. Like, it's pretty good. Like, I'm not saying you have to wear this wig every day. <laughs> I just gotta clean this back up a bit because it's still kind of nesty in the back. If I had like, two more wigs, it could be like gigantic like bunnies because like hers is usually like three to four. And sometimes I heard she's worn up to like 10, depending on like what she's going for. Like the ones the late Christopher March used to do for her. They used to be like 10, 11, 12 wigs. I believe he did one for her one time that was like 15 for like one of her wig stocks. <laughs> like she used to like joke about like that was a tradition she started for herself that she wished she hadn't. Cause like her neck would be killing her by the end of the night from hosting. Cause the wigs would be so heavy. Ah, uh, Christopher March. I remember he had that line for Halloween at Target of the foam wigs that all the queens had that one year. Ugh, iconic. Well, for the most part, like I got it mostly cleaned up. She's mostly done. It is a mini lady bunny wig using mostly spirit Halloween wigs. I just gotta clean her up a little bit and she'll be ready to go. Be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my gosh, she is serving like you know, a Harbor Valley PTA, Barbara Eden, cross like a modern day Lady Bunny where she wears like the more smaller demure version of her big beehive hair. <laughs> oh my God, it's not quite 90s bunny, it's more like modern day bunny. You know, the hair is more subdued, you know, cause when you get of a certain age, you have to have your hair a bit more manageable. <laughs> but now like for a spirit Halloween wig, like these are actually really, really nice. Like I was really impressed by the quality and the style I managed to get out of it, just straight out of the bag, like just using the like pressed in style you got from the factory from them, you got something really workable and really cute. Like with a little bit of work, she's a drag ready hairstyle. And that's all I ask when it comes from wigs, you know? If I tease it out, is it gonna get me something pretty? And I got something pretty, so I am pleased. Now I'd like to take a moment, a then moment where I think everyone who's tipped me on Venmo, I would like to thank Lon, Sergio, Elizabeth, Malay, and Sergio again. And I also have some YouTube super thanks from Corey, Vanessa, thanks Vanessa, oh my gosh, Roger, Tumaz, and Vanessa again, thanks Vanessa. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the YouTube super thanks. And if you like my dress, this is actually the Monte Carlo from Rockin' Betty. <laughs> Be sure and check out their shop. Now, this was a lot of fun to do, and thank you guys for bearing with me as I'm recovering and getting my voice back. I promise by the next video I should have it back, okay? And you'll be back to hearing my beautiful voice without any hindrance. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye! Ooh, spooky season! Now hit the outro!
Public here in Cindy Style Party City wigs for old time's sake. Or so we try out influencer makeup of people I've met. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll pass my summer cold on to you. So click it.